if you have a CRM system and you've got to run it as a separate app and it doesn't integrate nicely to your email, what tends to happen is you have a set of communications happening inside your email inbox and then you have a second set of notes that lives mostly exclusively inside your CRM system where you're frantically trying to keep the database up to date with all of your customer information as you're having conversations back and forth with your customers. What would be the advantages and disadvantages of having a CRM that is based in your email like Streak and Copper over one that is not like HubSpot or Zoho? Great question. The good old question of CRM systems. Now, before I answer this, it's important to know that there are different levels of CRM systems. The most basic level of systems, I would say, would be most of the apps that live inside your inbox. And they're really going to be primarily helping you out with the basics of deal flow management. And what that means is it's going to be taking people through different stages of a deal. It's going to be maybe tagging prospects or tagging partners or tagging customers if they're interested in a certain product or if there's a certain value ascribed to an opportunity. But they're going to be pretty basic. Now, the level two or the second level of CRM systems is ones that start to add in some automation tools or maybe email marketing tools. Maybe you can have drip-fed email sequences and they start to add some smarts to them. Now, these are the tools like Infusionsoft or formerly Infusionsoft, it's now called Keep. Entreport was another popular one for a while. Active Campaign. I would even put MailChimp in this list almost these days because you can start to do some sequences there, but it's not really a CRM system, is it? So these kind of systems, they are more focused on, I guess, holistic marketing. We'd also put HubSpot in this box as well. And then the top tier of CRM systems is your enterprise solutions. So P systems like NetSuite, Salesforce is obviously one of the most popular ones, been around for a very long time, and they require let's say, an enterprise level of sophistication. Most definitely going to be engaging a consultant to actually implement them. There's a lot of upkeep, the licenses are expensive, and you're probably going to be spending six figures per year just on the licenses and the upkeep of a system like that. So now you know where the levels are, we can answer the question. So what's the best way to work? Something that lives in your inbox or something that is you know, running in its own app? Now, Personally, we do a lot of work with Copper CRM. We're a global partner for Copper and we've implemented it into many, many small businesses. And Copper, I'd kind of put it between category one and category two. It does you know, work right out of your email inbox and it's a basic CRM system, right? It does basic deal flow, pipeline management, customer records, but Copper's got a couple of really cool features that I like. Number one, it's deeply integrated with Workspace. And for a long time, they basically designed the app to be as closely integrated with Google as possible. And I thought for a long time that Google was going to buy them. Frankly, I'm surprised they haven't so far. But anyway, Google's Google. They make funny choices sometimes. But what Copper CRM also gives you is the ability to send back basic email campaigns right from within the CRM system. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't have the sophistication of some of the other level two apps like automated email sequences where you can track clicks and automatically have people funnel through different goals based on the actions that they take. But what it does let you do is because it is connected to your email, it automatically ingests a lot of content into its brain. Now, I share that with you because that's an example of what I would call a best-in-class AI-driven CRM system. And many of the other apps have not quite caught up to where Copper are. And it's one of the reasons why this is one of the only apps that we implement in the CRM world for small business owners. There's plenty of other apps that do one thing really great. Infusionsoft will do emails and complicated email sequences really great. But, you know, the landing pages, it's not so fantastic on. Something like HubSpot is really great at being a ecosystem of mail, landing pages. It even has some e-commerce features as well. And I really like that about HubSpot, but it's not as easy to implement for a small business. If you're a small business owner and you've got maybe just two or three sales staff and you just need to kind of keep tabs on what's happening with customer deals and acquisitions, well, most of these email-based systems are going to automatically ingest all of that email information into their brain. And it means that you're not managing a secondary database. If you have a CRM system and you've got to run it as a separate app and it doesn't integrate nicely to your email, what tends to happen is you have a set of 
communications happening inside your email inbox. And then you have a second set of notes that lives mostly exclusively inside your CRM system where you're frantically trying to keep the database up to date with all of your customer information as you're having conversations back and forth with your customers. So I think the fundamental question to ask yourself when choosing what system is best for you is where are you doing most of your work? Are you sitting in your email and processing and managing customer inquiries all day? Well, in that case, you may choose a CRM system that's an overlay over your inbox, something like Streak, something like, I can't say, I don't think Pipedrive does it these days. I know that Copper lives inside of Gmail, right? And it's got a little widget on the right-hand side, pulls in all your Gmail emails. There's a number of different options that are there, right? So if you're looking for something that is fully fledged or has let's say more sophisticated automations, more sophisticated platforms to build on. I didn't mention Zoho, but I'd put that kind of somewhere between category two and category three. Like it's got a lot of those enterprise features of being able to build on a platform and build out quite sophisticated workflows. But you basically got to live outside of your email there if you're managing a system like that. And my personal preference is for a business owner or for an entrepreneur, for you to stay out of email. I don't think it's very productive for you to be stuck in email all day because it really just promotes you being stuck in the business instead of on the business all day long. And that's not a good place to be as a business owner. But for your team, well, that might be fine for them to be living in their email. That's not an issue at all, right? Because if their job is to respond to customer inquiries quickly and be super zippy on email, if your customers like using email, then great. Maybe that's totally fine for them to live inside their email inbox and use an app inside their email inbox. So you're going to have a trade-off with tools that live inside your inbox because some of them are quite basic. You're going to get more features. And as you become a larger business, 20, 30 employees, and you have maybe five people or maybe even 10 people on a sales team, well, you might step up to the more sophisticated CRM systems that exist for businesses that have grown out of the small business space. But if you're just starting with a basic team and you need a basic customer database to do some deal flow management and to help you with some deal tracking and some numbers tracking and activity tracking for your staff, well, it makes sense to start with something basic. And for that, totally fine to work with one of the apps that runs right inside your inbox. Now, I have mentioned Copper CRM a number of times. The real power of Copper CRM, even though it does integrate deeply with Google's inbox, is in the browser. When you access the browser in Copper, you can see all of the reports, you can see all of the insights, you can manage your deals a little bit better because you get a dedicated screen for deal management. And you can also, of course, extract all of that data if you want and have reports built inside of Google Data Studio. And so that's our recommendation for small businesses who want to have the integration with Gmail and basically have all of the data automatically collected from your Gmail into your CRM system. But that's my thoughts on the CRM landscape if you're deciding to choose between the two, either working in your Gmail or working in a dedicated app. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.